welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you how to make an adult shirt adult male shirt um, so for that i'll be using this fabric you can use two yards of fabric uh, like tape chalk and scissors so first i'm going to open up this fabric i, I went ahead and folded the fabric this way so the next thing you have to check is the width and the widest part of this is supposed to be the chest except the person has like a bigger tummy then you can use that part too but the part i'm using is the chest and the chest i'm working with is 40 40 divided by 4 that will be 10. so you give it extra one inch for seam allow and um, for um, ease because their shirts are not supposed to be fitted um then you give it extra one inch for your seam allowance so that will leave you with uh, um, 12. so the next thing you have to do is to check uh, the length of the shirt you'll be working with so I'm working with 30 as the length of this shirt and then I'm going to add extra uh, extra 2 inches so that will be 32 so I'm going to mark 32 here and then I'll go back here and start so the 2 inches I added is for the folding the end and then for um, seam allowance so after that the shoulder i'm working with the shoulder that you measure divided by two so the shoulder i'm working with is 17 divided by two so that will be 8.5 so i'm going to mark 8.5 here and then come down this way the armhole i'm working with is 20 20 divided by two that will give me 10 so i'm going to mark it here And then I'm going to come this way and mark this way. So after that, the next thing you have to do is to, so the, for the neckline, I'm going to use uh, 3 inches by 3 inches for the neckline. So I'm going to go 3 inches by weight this way. So from this point to this point, 3 inches, and then also from this end to this end. So that will give me like a square, this square here, and then you curve it this way. If the person is more on the bigger side, you might want to go with 3.5 by 3.5. But this shirt I'm making is, so is the shirt I'm making is around, is for large, almost going to extra large so but it depends on you if you want then but don't go wider than three for here wider than 3.5 at least because if you make it too wide then the neck will be too open and it will not look nice except you want it that way so um the for the you come down to this line that you made here for the armhole you mark one inch here as a one inch downwards you mark one inch here and then you connect the line so that's basically it for the front pattern of this shirt. You connect this line together. So this is for your shoulder slant. So now I'm going to cut this out. So guys, I've gone ahead and cut out the front panel, which is this. I just cut ahead uh, uh, um, along all the lines that I made cut the slant and then the neckline and then I also went down by 8 inches in the front for, so that I can be able to add the placket at the neckline so after that the next thing you have to do is to fold the fabric again and then place the front panel on top and cut the same panel for the back the, the only thing that will change for the back panel is that you won't give it this slant here because the back won't have this placket or anything at the neckline so you're just going to trace out the same thing for the back you're going to trace out the same neckline the same shoulder slant the same shoulder slant the same armhole right the same armhole the same length the, but the, not the same length the only thing that will change is the length at the back so for the back piece the only thing you have to add is extra four inches to the back the back so i'm going to add add it this way because this is where the front piece stops right so from the line where this front piece stops you are going to mark four inches all the way so everything is the same except you add four inches to the to the length of the back and you add it from the bottom end not from this top part here 
add it at the end here not from the shoulder so now i'm going to cut this out and show you how i'm going to use this extra four inches i added at the back so guys after i've gone ahead and trimmed out this as you can see this is the front piece and then this is the back piece if you want the next thing you can do is to pull it down to the end now pull the front back to the end right Put, pull it down to the end of the uh, the same length as the back and then you trim out the armhole trim out this armhole or if you don't want to do it that way the next thing you can do is to if you if you don't prefer this method the next method you can use is to just open up this back piece because these four inches i left at the end is for the is for you to be able to add it to the front because the back piece is supposed to come the back neckline is supposed to come towards the front let me show you what i'm saying because if you look at men's shirt most of the times you would notice that the neckline at the back is almost as if it's on top of the front panel so that's what I'm, that's why we added the four inches at the back so the way i've placed this fabric now what i have to do is just to pull this here and pin it down pull this here on top of this neckline here pin it so guys this is the piece i was telling you you could trim it out the other time or you could wait and trim it out after placing it this way so this is what i did i pulled the front the back panel on top of the shoulder here and if you look closely you will see i didn't pull it so much like ahead like about half an inch half an inch and then placed it on top of this just fold it a little bit place it on top and pin it down so now i'm going to trim out this excess by the armpit the armhole and this will be my new armhole length to cut my sleeve with as you can see i've not cut the sleeve i'm going to cut the sleeve now that i've made sure that this is my new armhole so i'm going to trim out the excess by the armpit here by the armhole so now to get my new armhole measurements what i have to do is to measure remember we need the armhole to cut the sleeve so to get the new armhole now i'm not going to use what i have on the paper what i've already measured on the person i'm going to use this one because what i have on the paper is 20 and 20 that is 10 at this point here so if i use the one on the paper then my armhole when i attach the sleeve it will stop somewhere here and it won't reach to the end so but if i use what i have here so this is 10 now then i'm going to add like 14 so what i'll be working with for my armhole is 14 so yeah let me just check it over again so that will be yeah 14 is what i'm going to be using for my armhole so that's like 28 if you multiply it by two like the way i had 20 and divided it and i got 10 so if, if i'm working with this one that will be like 28 then when i divide it i'll get for the 14 that i just got right now so let me cut the sleeve so guys this is the piece i'm going to be using for the sleeve this is it here and then this is the it's two piece here like two piece of fabric folded this way and if you check if you open it up this way and check it's 28 which is the new armhole that i got if you fold it this way and check then it is 14 So guys, to cut the sleeve, I'm going to mark 3 inches here. And then on this line that I came down by 3 inches, or you can make it 3.5. I'm going to make it 3.5. Come down that 3.5 here. And then on this line, I'm going to go and mark this way. So which is the 14 inches that I got from my new armhole. Mark it this way. And then from this same line, just mark like you're writing an S this way. So this will be my new sleeve here. And then here, you check the width of the sleeve you're working with. So I'll be working with um, sleeve width of 18. So 18 divided by 2, that will be 9. 9, 9 plus 1 inch for my seam allowance, that will be 10. So I'm going to mark it here and then mark this way so that is it here i'm going to trim out everything so 
guys i've cut the sleeve so the next thing you have to do is to notch the center the end here of this sleeve here notch the center top here and then also the next thing is to notch this end here on the two sides of the sleeve notch the two so that you know that this is your new shoulder this is your new shoulder because your show your initial shoulder when you were cutting it was this line here but remember you flipped it this way so now your new shoulder is this fold here so and also remember you're supposed to sew on this line here after pinning it down sew on this line straight like on this line here make sure you're sewing on this one here to hold this together and then you notch the ends so that you know that this is the next this is your new uh, shoulder here and then I'll make a separate video on how I make the plackets for the neckline. So after attaching the two sleeves, then you close up the ends of your, your shirt and fold the end here. And fold the end, the two ends here. So I'm going to do mine and come back. So guys, the next thing you have to do, I've already made a video on how to use um, the same fabric to make a bias. So you use your, your fabric, after putting in the placket, you use your bias to make the neckline. Fin you finish up the neckline and then that's all for the shirt. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.